Today, God's voice calls out with a powerful message for you. As humans, we constantly think about the future, the past, our dreams, and our fears. But today, I encourage you to reflect on the importance of your thoughts. Proverbs 23 verse 7 tells us, As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Our thoughts shape who we become. Many people become prisoners of their own negative thinking patterns, not because God isn't working in their lives, but because their faith wavers. When doubt takes root in your mind, it grows, creating harmful thought processes that can block you from receiving God's blessings. The Bible, in Colossians 3 verse 2, encourages us to set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. It's a call to focus on the eternal, to position our thoughts on heavenly things. Ask yourself, do my thoughts align with God's word? Do you take note of what you dwell on? 2 Corinthians 10 verses 3 to 5 says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. The weapons we fight with are not worldly, but divine, powerful to demolish strongholds. We are commanded to take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. This means that each thought in your mind must be disciplined under the Lordship of Jesus. The real battlefield is the mind. We must be intentional about what occupies it. Faith isn't just a feeling, it's trusting God to act on his word, no matter the circumstances. Faith isn't built in the easy times, it grows in moments of trial. But take heart, you don't need enormous faith. Jesus tells us in Matthew 17 verse 20 that if we have faith as small as a mustard seed, we can move mountains. Even when you feel your faith is lacking, remember this, all you need is faith the size of a mustard seed, and it will grow if you look to Christ. Romans 10 verse 17 reminds us, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. If you feed your spirit with God's word, your faith will flourish, even in the deepest trials or most daunting challenges. 1 John 5 verse 5 declares, Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Let this inspire you today. Place your faith in the one who commands the winds and waves. Trust in the one whose very breath gives life. Believe in the one who conquered death and have faith in Jesus. Dear Lord, you promise us in Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. You've given us such a wonderful assurance in your word, especially when doubts creep in. Help me, Lord, to stand firm in faith, rooted in the truth of your promises. In moments of fear and uncertainty, remind me that you are with me and in control. I ask for the strength to face each day with unshakable faith in you. My hope rests in the knowledge that you will guide me and sustain me through every trial. Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you as my Savior and trust in your infinite wisdom. You are the way, the truth, and the life. In times when my faith wavers, draw me closer to you. Let your word be my refuge and strength. I commit my heart and mind to you, asking for an increase in faith to navigate the challenges of life. Strengthen me, Lord, so that I may stand firm in the face of adversity. Empower me with faith that not only sustains me, but impacts those around me. As I face the obstacles in life, 
May I see them as opportunities to grow in faith and trust in your power. Father, let me have the faith to see beyond my problems, knowing that there is victory and triumph in you. May I walk by faith, not by sight, trusting that you are working all things together for my good. Even when life seems overwhelming, may I remember your word in Job 13 verse 15, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Mighty God, grant me the faith of Daniel, who trusted you even in the lion's den. You delivered him from harm, and I trust you to deliver me from my trials. You are still the same powerful God today. Your word reminds me that, Greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world, 1 John 4 verse 4. Thank you for your constant presence in my life, Lord. I seek to live a life that pleases you, and I know that without faith, it is impossible to do so. Strengthen my faith, O Lord, and help me to boldly trust you in every situation. Father, as I reflect on your word, I'm reminded that faith is not only essential for my personal walk with you, but it also has the power to influence and inspire others around me. Strengthen me, Lord, so that I may be a living example of faith in action. When challenges arise, let my faith be a testimony of your grace and power. Allow my life to reflect your goodness, even in the midst of difficulties, so that others may see and be drawn closer to you. I pray for a faith that moves beyond mere words, Lord. Help me to live out my faith with boldness and conviction. Let it be evident in my decisions, in my interactions with others, and in how I respond to the trials of life. May my faith encourage those who are struggling, and may my trust in you be a beacon of hope for those searching for answers. Lord, I ask that you give me discernment to recognize when doubt is creeping into my heart. Teach me to counter it with your promises, for your word is a shield against every lie of the enemy. In moments when I feel overwhelmed, remind me to turn to your word, where I find the strength to press on. Your word in Isaiah 40 verse 31 tells me, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. Heavenly Father, as I continue to grow in faith, I ask that you help me to be mindful of my thoughts. Let me not be a victim of negative thinking, but instead, may I constantly renew my mind in your word. Philippians 4 verse 8 encourages me to focus on whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. Help me to meditate on these things, Lord, so that my mind remains fixed on you and your promises. I also pray for my loved ones, Lord. Strengthen their faith as well. May they experience your presence in their lives and come to know the peace that only you can give. I lift up their burdens to you, knowing that you are more than able to provide for their needs. Surround them with your love, guide them in their decisions, and bless them with the wisdom to trust in your perfect will. In all things, Father, I place my trust in you. I know that the road ahead may not always be easy, but I am confident that you walk with me every step of the way. I declare that no obstacle is too great, no challenge too difficult, for you are the God who moves mountains. Strengthen my resolve to stay faithful, even when the journey seems long, and remind me that you are working all things for my good. Thank you, Lord for being my constant source of hope and strength. I am grateful for the assurance that comes from knowing you are in control. No matter what tomorrow holds, I trust that your plans for me are good, 
and I rest in the knowledge that you will never leave or forsake me. Your love is everlasting, and your grace is sufficient for every need. As I go forward, I pray that you would continue to mold me into the person you've called me to be. Let my life be a reflection of your glory, and may my faith inspire others to seek you. Thank you for hearing my prayer and for being the faithful, loving God that you are. As I continue in prayer, Father, I ask for your grace to carry me through every season of life. In times of joy, may I always give you praise, and in moments of sorrow, help me to find solace in your presence. Teach me to walk by faith and not by sight, to trust in what I cannot see, knowing that you are always at work behind the scenes, orchestrating my steps according to your divine plan. Lord, help me to cultivate a heart of gratitude, one that sees your blessings even in the smallest of details. When I am tempted to focus on what is lacking, remind me of all that I have been given. Let me not be consumed by worry or fear, but instead, let my heart overflow with thanksgiving for your provision in every area of my life. I choose to count my blessings, not my struggles, and I choose to focus on your goodness, not my challenges. Father, as I seek to live a life of faith, I also pray for the strength to surrender. I acknowledge that true faith involves letting go of my own desires and trusting fully in your will. Help me to lay down my plans and ambitions at your feet, knowing that what you have in store for me is far greater than anything I could imagine. Let my heart be open to your guidance, and may I have the courage to follow wherever you lead. I trust in your timing, Lord, even when it seems like my prayers are not being answered. I know that you are never late, and that you work all things together for my good. Give me the patience to wait upon you, and the wisdom to recognize that delays are not denials. Help me to stand firm in faith, believing that you will fulfill every promise you have made, in your perfect way, and in your perfect time. Father, I also lift up those who are struggling in their faith. There are many who are burdened by doubt, fear, and uncertainty, and I ask that you would strengthen them today. Pour out your peace upon them, Lord, and remind them that you are a God who is close to the brokenhearted. For those who feel far from you, I pray that you would draw them near. Let them experience your love in a fresh and powerful way, and may their faith be renewed as they encounter your presence. Lord, I also ask for your divine protection over my mind and heart. Guard me from the attacks of the enemy, who seeks to sow seeds of doubt, confusion, and fear. Equip me with the armor of God, as described in Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18, so that I may stand strong against the schemes of the enemy. Let my mind be protected by the helmet of salvation and may my heart be covered by the breastplate of righteousness. Help me to wield the sword of the Spirit, which is your word, with confidence and power, knowing that your truth will always prevail. As I go through each day, Father, remind me that I am not alone. You have given me the Holy Spirit, my comforter and helper, who walks with me every step of the way. Let me lean on the guidance of the Holy Spirit, trusting that he will lead me into all truth and strengthen me in my moments of weakness. May the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control be evident in my life as I seek to live in alignment with your will. Finally, Lord, I pray for revival in my heart and in the hearts of all your people. Stir within us a hunger for more of you, a thirst for righteousness, and a deep desire to know you more intimately. 
Let there be a fresh outpouring of your spirit in our lives, our communities, and our world. Thank you, Father, for your unending love and for the gift of faith. Strengthen me today and every day, that I may walk boldly in the purpose you have for my life. I surrender all to you, trusting in your unfailing love and perfect plan. In the precious and powerful name of Jesus, I pray, Amen.